The excitement of NBA games extends beyond the action on the court to the analysis that accompanies it. Analysts provide quick insights before the game, during halftime, and after the game. However, ESPN, which had the honor of covering the 2024 finals, failed to impress viewers with its halftime show due to certain limitations. On the other hand, Shaquille O'Neal and his team had the advantage of bypassing these restrictions. In the first game of the finals, the Boston Celtics dominated the Dallas Mavericks with a decisive 107-89 victory. Although Stephen A. Smith and his team had plenty to discuss, fans were disappointed by the excessive number of advertisements, which shortened the halftime show. As a result, viewership dropped from 11.35 million in the last quarter to 9.01 million. The coverage was widely criticized for its lack of analysis. Addressing the issue, veteran Fox Sports analyst Doug Gottlieb explained the situation on his show. He highlighted the difference between cable and network TV, noting that ABC, which spent $4.5 billion for the rights, relies on ads for revenue. In contrast, TNT can afford longer halftime shows because it earns money from both subscribers and ads. Network TV targets a larger audience and relies solely on ad revenue, whereas cable networks like TNT have dual income streams. Therefore, ESPN has to run more ads during the halftime show as they can't do so during the game. While Gottlieb clarified the reasons behind the issue, it raises a significant question. Is this approach sustainable in the long term? Shaquille O'Neal and his team, who are part of the popular Inside Guys show, might have hope. The show, a staple of NBA coverage since 1989, will end after the next season because TNT couldn't match the offers from ABC, NBC, and Amazon Prime for the next decade's media rights. The Inside Guys crew, Shaq, Charles Barkley, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, now need to find an alternative. Shaq remarked that ending the show would be a great loss and expressed hope that TNT would ensure the show's continuation. Even Dallas Mavericks star Luka Doncic showed support for the show's continuation, saying, You ain't done yet. We've got to figure out something. The recent issues with ESPN's finals coverage might even create an opportunity for TNT. Will the Inside Guys continue their show despite losing media rights? Share your thoughts in the comments. Before you go, don't miss how Caitlin Clark's humility is winning over Shaquille O'Neal's former agent, Leonard Armato, despite the negativity surrounding her. Stay tuned for more updates.